Let's look at GIMP Portable. It's an image editing tool and it's open source and it's free best of all. So we're going to take an image over here and just simply move it over and it will appear on the screen. Now this version of GIMP 2.6.8 has a resynthesizer which is another name for a content aware fill tool and uh, it does essentially the same thing it's not quite as good as uh, Photoshop but for a free program it's not bad so let's see what happens now when we uh, let's say we want to get rid of this bee that's hovering over the flower let's see what we do to get rid of that so we'll go over to our lasso tool and move that around the B. Try to keep it fairly close to the subject you're going to get rid of for best results. Okay, next you want to go to filters, hold that down, hold the left mouse button, go to enhance, and keep the mouse button down, slide it over, and then go to heal selection. And then another window will pop open. Now this window, uh, notice it says radius to take texture from. Now the default setting is 50. And that probably would work great for this one. But if you're uh, near something, some object, if you do 50, you'll probably pick up pixels from that. And it could uh, distort the content or wear, a wear fill uh, effect. So you want to uh, be, you know, be a cognizant of what's around the object and determine that setting. So we'll go with 50. Say OK. And then you simply go to select, and click on none, and that will get rid of our little uh, dancing ants, so to speak. And it did a pretty decent job. Now, before you save it, you need to do one more thing. Go into image and go to flatten image. Okay, now I'm going to save this. Go into file. <clears throat> and we'll say save as and you can change the name or leave leave whatever you have there. I'm going to just go ahead and save it to desktop and we'll save it. And we'll just say yes and replace what's there. And I like to save it at the highest quality. And we'll save that. Okay, and I think we have our picture. Now I'm using FastStone Image Viewer in order to view this image, which is another free program. So uh, uh, you want to keep that in mind if you're looking for just a handy general purpose uh, image editing and viewing tool. So that's another good one. So there you go.